Hello, Leo. Welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. So, Leo, I'm being called to use this tarot deck, the good tarot, as an oracle deck to pull out an overall energy for you, which is kind of interesting. I've never really done that before, so I'm going to do that. And then I will get into really kind of funny. Look at that. And you have Leo energy at the bottom here and at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you're kind of more, yeah, I would give you that. I'll give you that. It is a little more like Aries energy. But take it, it's fire. Look, you got fire at the bottom. You're all fired up. We got fire for you here. I'm going to use this as my um, uh, dreamscape tarot. So we're going to use that one and uh, see what we can find for you here. Uh, if this reading is resonating with you, there is an extended. And if you were called to go to the extended, if it's calling you out, the link to that is at the top of the description of this video. The comments are closed on the individual videos. I forgot to say that for cancer, but in the uh, community section of my channel, you can go there and leave comments. So Leo, let's get started my Pussycat Nation. Leo, can we have a card of the overall energy for Leo right now? The card of the Nine of Earth. nine of pentacles you're doing good work you're doing good work you are creating abundance for yourself you are um i feel like you're growing things you're growing things and creating abundance through that like it almost feels like you have more than one thing going on here for yourself and each one of these is starting to produce and starting to look like they're going to become something to add to the growth that you've already created for yourself All right, let's see where we go. With that. Oh, and this is the last reading that I will be doing for you with this contraption in my mouth. It comes out tomorrow. 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everybody think good thoughts. Good thoughts. This deck won't shuffle. I don't know what the problem is today with decks not wanting to shuffle. It's really peculiar. Come on. And they don't want to come together. Sounds like energy feels kind of ornery. I, I don't know. I've been kind of ornery lately, so maybe. All right. Leo. Leo. The energy right now, what's challenging you? There's too many cards, but I'm going to give it a look. Five of Swords, Page of Coins, Tree of Life. There's that Five of Wands. Queen of Swords, Death, Seven of Cups, and Six of Cups. There is some conflict here, some things you got to look after. You've got, like, thing, you're working through destiny here, but there's a struggle. There's things that need to get cut out, and it feels like bad, confusing energy. Let's just put that back and start again. <laughs> See how fast you can kind of do like a tarot reading? I could probably make these readings. It's a damn deck. I could probably make these readings like, you know, 40 seconds long. I just might do that when this thing comes out of my mouth because I'll be able to talk really fast again. Okay, Leo. Not so many cards, huh? Not so many cards. Okay, right now, right now, this very moment, you have the hermit. So whatever you're working on, you're not really doing it with other people. <laughs> you got the isolation here. Um, your challenge is the hanging man. What the hell are you trying to do? You're really looking at something. My gosh. What the heck are you doing? Talk about internalized energy. Now, this is the energy of kind of looking within. Really looking within to get the answers. Really trying to discover who you are on a whole new level because, I don't know, life changes. And so you're kind of adjusting to that. How do I see myself in this now? Who am I really? Where am I going? What is life all about? Like, you know, the deep, deep questions. But then this one, which is kind of what is the challenge here, is sort of taking this information that you gain here and then applying it beyond yourself. So this is actually a ton of self-sacrificial self energy. 
because you're not really engaging with anything beyond yourself. You might be watching things outside of yourself, but you're not yet participating. You're doing a hell of a lot of thinking. That's a lot of thinking. That's a lot of thinking, Pussycats. Your focus. Wow, look at the Ace of Swords. I told you, you're all focusing thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I hope someone's bringing you snacks. In the past, you had temperance. You had sort of a balance going on. You were being patient with things. You were allowing things to play out as it felt that they should. You were taking your time. You were making sure your own emotions were sort of balanced and in check here. Your strength, wow, is the four of wands. It's celebrate. It's okay. So the four of wands, and it's this is really significant for this because this is like total isolated energy, totally um, nothing going on. So the four of wands is kind of that celebration that takes place after that energy. That's your strength. So it's coming out, feeling all fiery and alive again, like Leo, when you're going to do that. And then in the future, you have the Eight of Cups. So there's something that you're going to walk away from emotionally here. Something that you're going to distance yourself from to go on another journey. That's a lot of journeying. The surprise from the universe is the King of Wands. Well, there you are. Maybe it doesn't feel like it right now. Like maybe because where are you? There's like no fire here at all. Well, I shouldn't say that. Temperance is Sagittarius energy. And there is this, but that's in the, that's your strength. If you want to pick that up, do something with it. The past was temperance, and then everything right now. To me, this doesn't say that you're doing it. It would be your strength if you utilized it, but I don't see any fire here. But that doesn't mean you always have to be in your strongest element, too, right? Like you're doing something else right now. But, you know, you might not realize this, but you're going to come out like like boss energy. Own in that situation, whatever it is for you. The bottom is the Queen of Cups, and it's all reversed. A lot of feelings and emotions, intuitive capabilities, perhaps. The intuitive capabilities, maybe that's something that's going on for you right now. Because there's a lot of uh, out there. Out there energy, Leo. All right, let's look at this. This is really curious. I can't even believe the split. We have the Ace of Swords, which is here, and the Hanged Man. Maybe even, like, your focus is on something here. Maybe some sort of new information with the Ace of Swords. New information. And you are looking at this from every angle that is humanly possible. Inside me, outside me, inside me. Outside, it's like wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. You gotta do what you gotta do. Oh my gosh, the cards are too much. Come on, you guys gotta behave for me. The hermit, the hermit. What are you doing? What are you doing in this hermit mode? Oh, you're killing me. You are killing me. What are you doing in the hermit mode? The hanged man. If you haven't already figured that out. Oh, okay, so what are you doing? If the hermit comes out when I ask what's going on, <laughs> the challenge for you is to see something completely different, perhaps some, because the focus is information, new information that has come in for you. The hanging man, the hanging man. Oh, it's not, I saw it. Oh, that bugger. It's a freaking hermit came out. You're killing me. <laughs> <clears throat> look you're coming out though at the other end you are finding your way <laughs> the hermit the five of swords the five of pentacles and the king of wands <laughs> it's like how to become this again oh that's what it's like how to become this again maybe you've just been so isolated for so long you just don't know yeah i know <laughs> Like, you just kind of got to back up on that horse. That's what you got to do. You got to get back up on that horse. I just can't. Your energy is like, I don't mean to laugh, but you got to see how funny that is. That you've got the hermit and the hangman. And I ask you, what are you doing in the hermit mode? The hangman. Okay, well, what's going on with the hangman? The hermit. 
But at least you gave us a little more information, right? Because this is very internalized, so you're not giving much up. <laughs> not getting anything up. And the hangman, it is a little more externalized, where you're looking beyond yourself here. Maybe that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to be able to see how you can come out like the King of Wands again. Really confident, owning your shit, feeling great and passionate about life, going to go get what it is that you want out of life, going to be the leader that you always wanted other people to be that they never were. Like, that's the King of Wands. But you've been in Hermit maybe for a long time now, and you're like, I don't know how to get out of here. How do I get out of here? How do I find the door? I don't know. Well, let's see what's going on with your focus. The Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords. What is this? And why are those singing on my hands like that? The Strength card. So, why is this sitting on my hands like that? I gotta see. It's, wow. Wow. Is that all? No. Well, all but one. All major arcana here. Um, okay, let's look at that in a minute. The, that, the Ace of Swords and the Strength card. It almost feels as if like some sort of information that has strengthened you, strengthened your resolve, perhaps. Some sort of knowledge. Maybe you're having an epiphany moment in this hermit hangman hermit hangman energy your inner strength here you're trying to build up your backbone or maybe something that's giving you confidence that you've learned learned about yourself or learned about something outside of you or both oh here you have temperance the emperor the justice card and the two of cups Ooh, that is strong energy strength strong energy temperance there's you are like the past the past has something to do with what you're focusing on now. The emperor, leadership, balance, justice, the two of cups. Ooh, it's really good. But how do you get the ball rolling? It feels like that. How do you get the ball rolling? How do I find the door in this cave that I've been sitting in for so long? That's a lot of major arcana. Wow, even with the strength card, if you think about that, yeah. That's four major arcana and one minor arcana for your focus right now. It's something really um, significant in your journey. And perhaps that's what it took to get you out of um, the hermit hangman, the hangman hermit energy. Your past was temperance, being real patient here, alchemizing situations. The Page of Wands, perhaps waiting for some sort of subtle communication or wanting to express subtle communication on your own part. It's the past. Let's not focus on it. Let's get you out of that. The Strength card is the Four of Wands. Let's celebrate, baby. Oh, it's Venus and Mars. Venus, <laughs> Venus and Aries. That is a tough journey. There's a few things I've, I've remembered <laughs> through my... Um, learning and studying of um, astrology i can only do so much at once because i'm a mom and i just and i'm getting old and tired so I, can't, I can only maintain so much at a time at this point but yeah this one i thought was really interesting because the venus in aries it's such a long way for venus to go that it almost feels like a trip through the desert but then once there is a big celebration how oh, does that make sense like a trip through the desert like this isolation this hardship and then celebration the Four of Wands, your strength. I don't know, the world and the King of Swords. <laughs> cutting something out. It feels like cutting out an ending. Ending something, cutting clear and dry. Clear that up. Clear that up? Let's get more out of that. What do we want to clear up? You want to change a cycle here. It is your strength to change a cycle. To be really clear and concise about something. This that the tower and something else wanted to come out there. I see you. You can't sneak away from me. It's the tower. More Mars energy. Fire Mars is your is your superpower. It's your natural power. Oh, look at this. I like that. It's kind of like cutting out a cycle or ending a cycle in a really quick and cl clinical clinical way it almost reminds me of instead of pulling the band-aid off real slow it's like just rip it off and then you got the tower and look i mean the energy right after that is really nice really balanced really grounded really nurturing and kind and loving and sweet 
But your future is, oh God, the Eight of Cups. But are you kind of there <laughs> at this point already? Let's clarify that. Although I don't have any more Hermit <laughs> cards to go around. The Eight of Cups, the Eight of Cups. The high, it's close. The High Priestess and the Knight of Pentacles. You are slowly unraveling a mystery here. Oh, that's what it feels like. You are slowly unraveling a mystery. Going forward very carefully, step by step. Yeah, step by step too. Step by step. Where are you going after this? Well, the, the surprise is the King of Wands. Is that even you? I have to ask that. Because I don't really see your uh, your energy here. I see you trying to come through, trying to find the door. Now, where are you going after that? You're taking a step by step. Where are you going? God help us. Let's hope you're not going back into the hermit mode. Oh, the ten of pentacles in the. Oh, you're gonna go. See, you're gonna go meet new people and do new things. That's really good. Yeah, and you're gonna like in abundantly, in a very abundant way. So that makes sense. You're doing good things. It's just not in your energy. Like, where is your energy? I see it trying to, you're finding, you're trying to find yourself. Well, of course, right? With the hermit and the hanged man. You're trying to find yourself again. Okay, the surprise is the king of wands. The surprise is the king of wands. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I can't even, I don't even think, it's kind of like you left planet Earth and you did not leave a return number or address, a forwarding address. The Seven of Swords, the Moon, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. Finding the door here, okay, you're going to find it, but you can't do that until you've addressed some sort of fears here that are holding you back. There's some sort of fear here that's holding you back. That's what's happening. That's what I'm getting here. The surprise from the universe is yes, you are going to find this energy again. This king of the jungle, this leader of all leaders, you are going to find it again. But you know what? Like, until you face some sort of fear here, uh, it's you're going to be stuck. You're going to be stuck here. You have to face some sort of a fear. What is this fear? What is this fear? I don't know. It could be different for everyone, right? I'm just nosy as shit. <laughs> I'm all in your business now because you're hiding it. So <laughs> dig. Dig. Oh, what is your fear? I think your fear is making the wrong choice in partnerships. Making the wrong choices? Confusion? Seven of Cups, King of Cups. Having a lot of feelings and emotions. Perhaps too, like not being sure about how to even express these. How to bring this out like in a real practical way. And the Hierophant, like deep connection. When you feel a deep connection, how do you express that? It's either that or like knowing if you do or not. There's definitely something here or making a mistake. The Ten of Wands is at the bottom. I don't even know if I'm done because this is really curious. I don't ever think I've seen Leo quite in this energy before. Yeah. Like this isn't, I've seen, I've seen points in time where your confidence has been kind of knocked don't we all i mean we all get that um but i've never seen this before this is almost a complete withdrawal because you're afraid there's something that you're afraid of that is holding you back what are you afraid of the seven of cups and the three of cups perhaps afraid of expressing a lot of feelings and emotions how do you do this like there's two ways maybe there's two ways i could do this and the hierophant though this is like real serious shit What's this nine of earth? This nine of pentacles. Your overall energy is the nine of earth. The nine of pentacles. The three of 
Three of Cups and the Ten of Swords. There's been an ending. Okay, that would make sense. Now I'm getting a little bit here. There's been some sort of a, a big, a hard ending. And it could have been something that felt like it was kind of coming together again. There was happiness and celebration. And it was a painful ending. And now this is also kind of an isolated card. And that is like the single card. So coming together with a friend, friends, something, something that makes you feel happy. And maybe something was reconciled all of a sudden. And then it's just like an ending that's just painful. Your Queen of Cups is at the bottom. Let's get, I'm running out, I'm running out of cards. A lot of cards have come out. The Queen of Cups. The King of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. I feel like you feel, okay, you've, your emotions are something here that is some sort of fear that you're working through. And it does feel like, I mean, fire is your natural element. To keep you grounded, it kind of feels like um, like being creative, being uh, sexy, being um, excited about life. But I, there's something going on about the feelings here. There's a real withdrawn energy. That's absolutely for sure. The Nine of Swords. Like you're working to keep your stability going here. Right, with the King of Pentacles. I mean, I feel that with the King of Pentacles, you got a lot of responsibilities. You're able to manage those. Even if you are, like, I don't feel like you're connected with anyone emotionally. Or you're not. Like, you're just, you know... Saying what needs to be said. How high are you? How high are you? <laughs> That's not how that was. <sighs> Did that sound like how it sounded like to me? It sounded like I said, how high are you? It was supposed to say, hi, how are you? And you would just say, I'm fine, how are you? Like. <laughs> anyway, the nine of swords. Like, it's just like, and the anxiety. It's driving you crazy. You know, you just need to do shit. I can only... I don't know. I just, this energy is almost driving me crazy as a fire sign. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> I just, when you're, yeah, like this and then ending up with the nine of swords at the bottom is so much in your freaking head. I can feel it. I can really feel it. You got to face some kind of fear here. That's what you got to do. I think if once you take action on that, things will be easier than they feel like they are right now. This is tough. This is tough energy. All right, Leo. Was it gas? Very unexpected, but let's see. I'm going to go and do the extended and see what I can pull out of there for you. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.